Hello everyone, my name is Ichiyang, and uh, nice to see you again. Um, professor of National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology in Taiwan. And uh, today we'd like to our uh, discussion about uh, some uh, determinants of uh, container terminal operation from green pore perspective. Our, here is our content, and uh, including the, our introduction, literature review, and uh, uh, number three is uh, methodology and uh, empirical analysis. Number four is a uh, conclusion. Uh, actually, because uh, our, uh, according to some our report, we found some our shipping is a uh, main means of carry um, uh, marine cargo about uh, ninety percent. That means uh, it's also according to the EMO report, uh, shipping is a very uh, significant source of a greenhouse greenhouse gas emission so uh, a lot so that's why some, uh, some consultant hold to uh, to file a solution to reduce this kind of uh, container terminal and uh, ship, uh, shipping their uh, CO2 emission oh, this is uh, uh, the paper would like to uh, to investigate about the green container terminal concept and uh, the impact of, of uh, some climate change on the container terminal. So uh, to to set up some um, uh, green container terminal assessment uh, variables. So this is uh, uh, give some reference of our some academic research and uh, some uh, worker in the industry. Okay, here is uh, our purpose. First one to explain the development data of uh, container terminal and the physical concept of green container port. That means what is the green port, uh, special for a container port. And number two, the uh, determine um, the assessed criteria of uh, green uh, container terminal. And then the ranking order about six mega hub port in uh, uh, East Asia, including uh, some are uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, and so on. To propose some several suggestion uh, concerning of uh, operating the green container terminal and green port strategy. Okay, here is uh, our uh, we literally build some our uh, some assessment factor based on some uh, um, container terminal layout, and uh, you can see normally some uh, uh, container terminal will be uh, divided into the three part, including the burst area. Container yard area, get area, but you know some factor uh, is not belong to three areas uh, factor. So we um, to uh, to find out another factor that's been to integrate this uh, area category. So totally about 25, 21 factor. So here is uh, our assessment criteria. Uh, so you can see the. First areas uh, deployed on the onshore power equipment. Uh, sometimes they say AMP, that's the autonomy uh, marine power. And uh, some people say shore power, okay. And uh, also lay out the automatic marine system and uh, Genji crane with uh, tree leaf or tender leaf and so on. So this is their source. And how about the container yard area? Is uh, uh, conversion of uh, diesel equipment to erratic power. So for example, the uh, RTG uh, normally is used a diesel, so you can conversion from the diesel uh, power RTG to the erratic power RTG, reduce the CO2 emission. Okay, this is gear area. Gear area less means uh, you use the automatic system to uh, to let the trucks with our uh, into in or out uh, fast faster movement, so you can first one and establish some uh, character of uh, some recognition survey or RFID. Our uh, integrated area that means uh, I just just tell you because um, some factor is not belong to the uh, formation of boundary area, so uh, we just put this uh, kind of factors into this uh, integrated area. So, for example, use the hyper and environment friendly wicker. Uh, use some uh, lower sulfur oil to reduce air pollution, especially for the uh, uh, 2020. 
Now, according to the, our email convention, uh, most of our ships that have been used to the some uh, low sulfur oil. Okay, here's uh, well, we did do some research uh, in uh, 2012, and uh, we used the hyper um, some meso. That means uh, AHP. AHP. That means uh, to ident identify uh, some. Um, Assessment criteria layer based on their wet wet video, and uh, to ranking their uh, important degree of uh, their um, layer uh, assessment criteria, and then use the GRA. GRA let's mean uh, great national analysis to our uh, to figure out the ranking of the the six port their ranking based on the AGP, uh, AGP to find out their uh, wet video. Okay, here is uh, the structure. You can see the uh, green terminal have a uh, uh, four dimension. Uh, first one is uh, burst area, second area, yard area, K area, and the integrity area. So uh, this uh, the below is uh, 21 the assessment criteria, and we use the HP to uh, to find their uh, variant ranking order, and then we compare them about Kaohsiung, Busan, Tokyo. Singapore, Hong Kong, and Shanghai uh, use the GRA to rank order their, their uh, uh, based on their um, green pore assessment criteria. Okay, so we we we'll use the two pores, and uh, here is a uh, uh, I mean the uh, GRA layer uh, mathematic formula for your reference. Okay, you can see that's uh, uh, our responder profile. That means uh, uh, we have sent a questionnaire to them and then give you uh, some return mail and then fill out uh, some uh, question. So totally it's 25% uh, 25 25 people, including the company in the 13 and the management company 12. And uh, because of this belong to as per um, questionnaire, so normally it's so how they're working you know, experience and the job title is uh, very high, it's good. Okay, here it's, uh, we use the HP, i uh, just tell you to uh, calculate a wet, wet barrier. And so you can see uh, here is, uh, but you know, because uh, we send uh, our responder have a two group, first group is a shipping company, another is a port management company. So here it's uh, number three column is um, all responder. So you can find out their ranking order. Normally it's different. For example, the for shipping company, they care about the gantry crane with uh, train lift and attendant lift operation capability. And number two is uh, deployment of onshore power equipment. Number three is a reduction in speed of ship new report. Uh, how about port management uh, company? First one, linking one is uh, replacement of uh, all equipment uh, or acquisition of uh, erratic power equipment or use uh, automa automatic handling equipment or conversion of diesel equipment to erratic power. So totally their linking number also different. So first one is uh, use uh, automatic handling equipment. Uh, that's why it's uh, our um, uh, Gaussian Gaussian Terminal 6 and uh, uh, also the, uh, in the Taipei port they use the automatic handling equipment so it's number one. Uh, deployment of onshore power equipment so in Gaussian Taipei they have set up some onshore power. Uh, number three is established some character uh, recognition software and the RFID system. Okay here is a GIA just uh, to, uh, we use these methods and uh, to uh, to calculate the ranking order of a uh, six port based on the AHP width. So we can see this one. And um, uh, shipping company listing the uh, uh, listing the uh, 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 Singapore is number one uh, because they, they are zero point nine uh, nine five one. Tokyo is number two. Hong Kong's um, Kaohsiung and in Kaohsiung is number six. Huh? Uh, how about the uh, our uh, I mean so for poor management and uh, uh, for the same company, you can find their um their ranking sometimes uh, different. 
and responsible just like this. So you can see the uh, shipping company and port management and the old responder. Uh, normally, it's, uh, number three, all number three is a Singapore, it's an almost number one. Hong Kong number two, Tokyo is uh, number three. And uh, Shanghai normally is uh, number four. But Busan and Kaohsiung, their position is different. Sometimes Kaohsiung number number five, sometimes uh, Kaohsiung, uh, Busan number five. So it's different. Um, okay. So we had uh, uh, make some conclusions. So uh, first one, uh, um, because we would like to select some green container terminal assessment criteria based on a green pore perspective. So uh, we, we use our hybrid um, hyper, um, methodology. That means HP and the plus uh, uh, GRA. So AHP to determine about uh, 21 their assessment criteria, their, their length order. So we found that there really have some different um, perceptions for a green uh, country terminal amount uh, between the assumption company and the pore management company. And the final the our six green uh um hot uh, based on the user uh GRA to analysis final is um, normally is uh, the linking one is uh, Singapore and uh, Hong Kong and uh, you can see it's Tokyo it's always one two three okay so so the ranking order things so maybe um, Singapore is number one special their green port. Okay, so we, we find out that our um, string company and port management have different perceptions, especially for the I mean the kind of terminal assessment criteria. Oh, okay, uh, is uh, our uh, some all responder nearing order? First one is uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, Tokyo. Number four is Shanghai, Busan, and Kaohsiung. So Kaohsiung quite a lot of problem have to uh, to find solution to uh, save up their green ports. Okay, is number three is a responders board from climate change. So uh, they have to do some uh, carbon emission. So how to uh, to operate their air cutting terminal special to uh, to reduce their carbon and uh, to make uh, um, the environment friendly is very important. Uh, for example, diesel uh, diesel RTC can convert you to uh, some user irritated powers can reduce a lot of CO2. Okay, here is uh, last means um, uh, we are encouraging some uh, some I mean some company terminal operator have to use the erratic gauge crane, uh, some or uh, other our uh, car cargo handling equipment. So that means uh, if you use uh, or some uh, erratic, that means can cause the air power quality quite good and so on. And uh, finally, it's last means how to or uh, to the stay on the port. Construction in the in the some character of environment healthy, uh, ecological protection and the rational use of, of uh, resource, uh, quite important. So so that means um, um, you know how to make uh, the labor worker in the working in the uh, environment friendly uh, place, and uh, you have to uh, it's not only to change their our uh, working condition, and also to cause uh, um, to to do some CO two emission and uh, to make a layer uh, working in a very healthy environment quite very important. Okay, here is uh, our our presentation uh, and uh, the about the green port and to find the file their definition and the file some assessment criteria. Okay, uh, my, my name is Ichi Yang, professor of National Gaoshan University of Science and Technology. And uh, if you have uh, any idea or comment, please send this message to me. Uh, my email is hyng at mkust.edu.tw. Thank you for your listening. Bye-bye.